I'm John Caldera, president of the Independence Institute and your devil's advocate. All right, if you have a teacher, if you are a teacher, if you love a teacher, if you know a teacher, you've got to make sure they stick around for our second half of our program. We're going to be talking about how they can get some of their own money back. Just let them listen to this. But first, a sad, sad day in Denver history. Mike Keefe from the Denver Post is hanging up his quill and, and going on to greener pastures. Nobody ever knows what a cartoonist looks like by, by purpose, because most cartoonists are, are, are ugly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We're, we have faces made for radio and Yeah, newspapers. exactly. Same thing with us radio folks. We, <laughs> we, we, stay, we stay away from yeah. that. How long were you with the Post? 36 years. 36 years. Yep. And you, when did you win the Pulitzer? This past year, 2011. 2000, what, was it for one particular cartoon? No, they have, they, there's a package of cartoons you send, a portfolio of 20. And the Pulitzer Committee decides? Yeah, it's, there's a two-step process. There's a jury of about six or seven people who um, winnows it down to about three or four finalists. And then the, those are passed on to the Pulitzer board, and they select the winner. Any uh, canola that comes with that? Is this uh, like the Nobel Prize? You uh, get a little I extra? wish. I wish. There is there's some money, a, a fairly good chunk. Well, what's a fairly good chunk? 10000 That's a fairly good chunk. Yeah. But Better not, than a sharp stick in the eye. That's right. It's not a million like the Nobel. But, but you know, yeah. to walk around in a bar with your Pulitzer, chicks dig that. Right. I, I have a ribbon I wear around my neck. And is it a ribbon? No. It's, is it? Actually, I got a, a certificate and a, a Tiffany crystal. A Tiffany crystal? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's just I didn't a, run into Newt when I got that, it either. That's, that's just a little gay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's your Pulitzer. I mean, yeah. you know, the Nobel is a, it's, it's a hunk of metal. You yeah, know? that's you, right. It can deflect a bullet. Yeah. It's, not, it's, not a, <laughs> it's not an engagement ring. Right. I, I want to talk to you ab ab about, um, about cartooning because I, as you know, I'm a recovering cartoonist. I, I, I tried for years to, to do a comic strip, my version of, of Doonesbury or Bloom County, a conservative version and uh, couldn't spell, couldn't write, and wasn't funny, so it didn't... Uh, you know, I beg to differ. I saw early examples of your work, and you wrote well. It was funny stuff. I just couldn't draw. Yeah, Drawing I'll stuff. go along. I'll agree with that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what? I've seen your work, too. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not... A, now, you're, you're, you're a lib, and I'm glad right. to see you, you go away and become extinct, and, but I was hoping that some great conservative uh, cartoonists would come and take your place. That ain't happening. Well, it? It, 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 nobody is replacing anybody in this business right now in cartooning, no matter where they are on the political spectrum. Uh, you know, the state of print journalism is, is in dire shape right now. But the cartoon, mm -hmm. the cartoon is an, not only you know, a, a great newspaper tradition, it's an American tradition. And for those of us who don't know how to read, <laughs> that cartoon says it all. I mean, with yeah. a few simple lines and a, and a witty right. phrase, even though, even though I don't like the way you've drawn me in the last few years, yeah. you made me look fatter and balder than I am. <laughs> but the, the beauty of it, the, the beauty of it. Cartooning is exaggeration, <laughs> John. <laughs> there are other things you could exaggerate. Yeah. The, um, as an art form, as a statement, it is one of the most powerful um, editorial devices they have. I, I, think, I think the editorial page is built around that cartoon. I couldn't agree more. Then how in the world do we live without a local cartoonist? Let me, let me go through the casualties here and let me see okay. if, I, if I got this right. So uh, Ed Stein, great cartoonist for, for the Rocky for so many years, the Rocky Craters. Right. Then we had Chuck Ace from the, from the uh, uh, Gazette, great conservative cartoonist. He retires, he still does some freelance work, right. leaving you as the only local cartoonist in the entire state of Colorado. I know the, the uh, camera had a cartoonist for a while, but it was only freelance. Right. So as far as local issues, local flavor, that kind of beautiful stuff that Colorado and Denver cares about, yep. you, had a, you had a corner on this market, and now even that's gone. I, I can't help but be really, really distressed about this. Well, I am too, and, and, and the jury's out. Nobody's said definitively that they're not gonna find, try to find a replacement. But right now, you know, everybody's in financial trouble and they've gotta get the marbles sorted out before they make a decision like that. I'm, I'm hoping and I encourage people to apply for the job. You, know. you think they'll hire me? Um, you think they'll hire me? I don't know, you gotta work on the drawing job. <laughs> Just hands, hands, yeah. noses, and breasts. They're impossible to cartoon, I tell you. <laughs> the, um, uh, 
how, you've syndicated some of your work as well. So yes. your stuff pops up. So there's stuff that's Denver-centric, Colorado-centric, nationwide. Right. Is there money in that even? Even that is, the pie has been cut so thin that, that and syndicates, syndicates uh, have, complete, you know, they've lowered their rates over the years. They've, uh, you can't make a living on syndication. And by the way, I'm going to continue syndication. I will, at, you know, much less frequency, you know, maybe one or two a week, and the Post will pick those up. So, you know, readers will still get a little bit of my liberal bias. Well, that's too bad. I, <laughs> I I go through and change it each and every copy when I can. The the idea of local coverage, though, mm -hmm. that local flair, and that incredible statement, is it being replaced by anything that that's online? I mean, yeah, because the, I haven't. They're, they're animated shorts, which are mm -hmm. which are terrific and great, right. um, and some of those are good, and some of them are just as bad as my cartoon used to be, and. But I, I haven't seen a replacement for that local one-panel editorial. No, I haven't seen it yet either. I think it will come. I think there's a there's a market for that. There's you know in the marketplace of ideas, there's a spot there. Whether whether anybody can make money at it is another thing. You know, you're going to have to have a day job. We got to do something about this. Do you understand? Oh, I do. I mean, we might look at the world differently, but we're brothers when it comes to cartoons. Exactly. You know, exactly. It's not just for SpongeBob anymore. What What drives me nuts is that when it comes to our adult animation, mm -hmm. this is a rich time. Right. You You from Family Guy to to yeah, uh, Pixar to Pixar to uh, South Park, which does a lot of editorializing. I mean, for, for those of us who really enjoy the art form, it is it is a heyday for it when it comes to animation. Um, but when it comes to newspapers, it's it's gone. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, when I started at the Post in 1975, I think there were about 300, roughly 300, full-time editorial cartoonists at daily newspapers. Now there are maybe 50. So the trend is bad. It doesn't look good. How did you land the job at the Post the first time? Uh, because I mean, for <coughs> anybody to stay at the Post for 37 years is, is unheard of. I mean, you, what, right. you were 12 when you got the job. Yeah. No, I was a little older than that, but uh, I, I, my background it was in mathematics. I was working on a doctorate in mathematics at the University of Missouri, and it was during a recession, not nearly as bad as this one. I uh, applied at a number of universities for teaching positions, and nobody was hiring, and I was about to start my dissertation. I thought, okay, I've run my GI Bill out. You know, this, now it's going to come out of my pocket. What am I going to do? Just like a liberal. Somebody yeah. else pays for it, yeah, and then right. finally you grow yeah, but, up. But I, I did a couple money. of years in the Marines yeah. to get that thing paid for. Uh, but uh, I was doing cartoons like you were as a hobby for the college paper. And I gathered up the few that I'd done, and I sent them to a guy named Bill Sanders up in Milwaukee who critiques young people's work, or he did then. And he wrote back and he said, I really like what you're doing, and in fact, I, you know, I took the liberty of forwarding this package to the Denver Post. They're looking for somebody. You're kidding. And that's how I landed at the Post. Wow. I know. No, no small paper jobs, nothing. It just, you know, I just started from, out from day nothing one. to From that's zero right. to 60. That's, that's exactly right. How often were you edited? Uh, uh, I mean, how many times have you, did you go up, here it is, and Dean Singleton or the uh, editor du jour at the time goes, no it ain't. Yeah. In the beginning, there was a lot of that. You know, then over the years, um, I I as I got, my editors got younger and younger, and I got older and older, there was less uh, censorship, if you want to call Why? it that. Uh, well, first of all, I learned the job. You know, I learned the boundaries, and I I'd try to push up to the edge often, but you know, I, I had a good sense of what worked and what do, did not work. What's the, what's the one cartoon that sticks out in your mind that you said, this should have run, this one should have, should have run? Well, uh, how about the last cartoon I did? That was, got, it got cut. What was it? Last week. It was a Herman Cain cartoon. Yeah. Where there's a shot of Herman from the waist up, and he's saying, my chief advisor and I are re, you know, reassessing. And then there's a word balloon that comes from below the cartoon saying, we'll get back to you. <laughs> you know? That's pretty good. Yeah. So in other words, no dick jokes. No dick jokes. On, on, on the editorial page. Right. That's, that's too bad. Yeah. Wait a couple of years tried. to come. I tried. You, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Really, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. What, what should the papers do? I mean, first of all, let me ask, 
How bad is it at, at the post? And, and let, uh, let me say it from this. We had a rich community of, of news and opinion with the Rocky mm -hmm. and, and the post. And that changed. And when it was only the post, it wasn't the same. The right. competition wasn't there. Right. The, 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 the internal strife to, to scoop the other guy wasn't there. And now it's shrinking and shrinking. This last cut was an 8% cut in, in the uh, news, news department. That's yeah. huge. That's 19 people with a uh, total of experience and institutional memory of about 400 years leaving the post. So that's not good. Uh, but it's all part of their strategy to go online, you know, make their online product more viable. But still online, we need, I you know, know. Here, here's, here's what I miss. Uh, you, know, you think of guys like John Sanko, the guy who's been around forever, who knows the ins and outs in every corner of, of the Capitol. It, that's history. Mm -hmm. For you being there for 37 years, that's history. You know what has right. happened through Colorado, and so you know when it's being repeated. You know, the next time RTD comes up and promises some ridiculous thing, you've been there before. Yes. You know, so um, we miss... I've been there with you there before. Yeah, you've, you've been against me there before. Yes. But um, where... Where do we find the historic, you know, 20 somethings are great, don't get me wrong, right. but we're missing that bit of Colorado that has the experience and maturity to, to look back. Well, I'm, I'm afraid it's gone. Uh, I don't see the post hiring somebody that has that experience now. First, they're not in a hiring mood. Second, they certainly couldn't pay the salaries that somebody with that kind of experience would demand. You know? what, what would they demand? What, what does somebody at the post make now? You know, I, I really can't answer that because uh, I don't know exactly. Um, you know, it's, I'd say that journalists are, are paid generally about like uh, senior teachers in that neighborhood. So it, it's comfortable. Yeah, it is. It's not, it's, it's not it's middle class living, you know. Do you think the alternative world will have an explosion, that there will be the westwards of the world that, that the, the bright new local comics come from? Well. I don't know. Uh, Kenny B lost his job at Westward. Uh, that's become more corporate. The Village Voice owns Westward and a number of other alternatives, and, and they're thinking in a corporate way. And you know, I, I think of you, and I think of Kenny B, and we've got less than a minute here, but as much as we might disagree on things, Denver is not the same without Kenny B, Ed Stein, and Keefe. You know, it, it's yeah. just, it's well, not I the agree. same. I agree. You know, even, even Drew Litwin is. Uh, is no longer right. That's correct. He's, he's syndicating, but he's you know he was with the news, so he left as well. And I, I mean I don't <clears throat> I don't know how there's a post without you. I don't know how there's a Westward without Kenny B. Yeah. We're gonna yeah, miss I you. I appreciate that. You won't miss me, but believe it or not, <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> All, All right, the John. best. Thank, Thank you, you so much for doing this. You uh, bet. I, 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 can I have your job? I still... <laughs> Apply. <laughs> Apply. All right. Grab a teacher. Hang on. Find out. Trust me, you're gonna love this.